Hello everybody, it's Agony333, and we are back for more horror, this time in a game called Deadlight. Now this game uh, used to be an Xbox exclusive, but it was a game that caught my interest back then, and I'm glad that, you know, eventually it came over, but I have never played it to this point. So this will be another blind uh, let's play. But let's do this shit, I'm anxious to get into another bleak fucking experience, so... I'm sure it shall be bleak for all of us. Yeah, look at this, what we got. Randall's Memories. So I guess we... Um, I had checked out reviews. I guess we play as a guy named Randall. But let's check the options real quick. Okay, nothing here really. Nothing here really. Nothing here really. Okay, I think we're fucking good. Screw this shit. What, what am I wasting my time with? But yeah, so let's start this from the beginning. I just know it's basically post-apocalyptic zombie action. Seems to remind me of like, you know, Limbo and Little Nightmare style. Like it's a side, you know, scrolling kind of thing. But let's do this. Just like sharks. When they stop moving, they die. That's how you are, Carla. Save yourself. Seattle, Washington, 4th of July, 1986. So we're in the 80s, apparently. 145 days after Patient Zero. After the storm came the calm and silence that make men crazy. Carla! Carla! Why? Why? Randy, can you tell me what the fuck happened here? She's been bitten everywhere. She knew she shouldn't have gone outside. You killed her, you bastard! You murdered her! She's dead! What the hell have you done? Why? We would all be dead by now because of your little sister. How many times have we said Why? not to separate from the group? Never means never. Shot drawing their attention even more. Either we reach the military shelter that you talk about so much, Grandpa, or we'll die right here. The radio message said that it was around here. It's a bit more than five miles west. Let's get out of here. Come on! I'm not leaving my sister here all alone. Nothing can be done now, Stella. <laughs> Something tells me, yeah, we're gonna be on. Ben, Stella, get out of here. <clears throat> get to the sea. I'll meet you. I've got to find my family. It's the only place they could have gone. Stay strong, Randy, and good luck. I know we'll find them. That day was not the beginning of anything or the end of something. It was just one more day. A day like any other. The world was dying, and we were its survivors. And we shall survive. Yeah, I was about to say, we're going to be on our fucking own here. You know it, guys. Come on, you, you've done this before. Status updated. Act 1, welcome to Seattle. Yeah, for July 4th, 1986, 12.35 a.m. Um, now it said status updated, so let me see here. Okay, here's our diary. Scene stats, yeah. 11 seconds. One out of three clues or something like that? Hidden? I don't know what the fuck... I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, zero out of one for a file or something. So, left behind. Carla died in the abandoned warehouse today. She'd been bitten, and I had to end it before she created chaos for us. The shadows heard the gunshot and rushed to the shelter. The group got split up. I have to escape this warehouse and find them. Most of all, I have to find my family. So, yeah, I guess they call their zombies shadows in this. Okay, wait. Oh, man, we have... Okay, so wait, status, and then here's a diary. Let's get through this quick. Um, 1985, May 40... May 15th. God, why did I say... I almost said May 45th. What the fuck? Okay. I never thought that I could do something like this, resorting to a diary to express myself. But come on. What have I got to lose? My name is Randall Wayne. My friends call me Randy. However, I don't know many that call me that. A few days ago, I turned 33. I live in hope, 
a small town in British Columbia. We are in a valley surrounded by nature, which is situated in the southwest of this great country called Canada. Here we have everything we need to be happy. If you compare my town to other cities, they are garbage. If I speak about those cities that I see on TV, hope always seems the best place in the world for a man like me. My work also keeps me happy. I'm a park warden right here in the mountains. My work requires me to spend a lot of time far from home and to be in direct contact with the trees and the animals. I normally hike up the mountain by myself. Man can trust the mountain. The mountain never disappoints you. I don't need anything else. Sometimes having someone close is dangerous. Ordinary people speak too much and always disappoint you in the end. So yeah. <clears throat> and it looks like, yeah, okay, wait, wait, we got something here, okay. Yeah, there's a broken page, you know, ripped and So five out of six, okay. June 6th. I lost my sense of direction today in the forest. I was going back and forth from the cabin, but I wasn't able to find the way back. The way back. In spite of having the right way, the right... Ah, fuck! In spite of having the way right in front of me, I couldn't see it. Tomorrow I have to go back. It seems that there are poachers looking for trouble. I hate people that look for trouble. Because those who look for it will always find it. Although what they find might not be exactly what they expected. In the afternoon I found a deer, which had been run over on the road. It was a strange day. September 9th. Where have you been hiding, my dear diary? I have my daughter to thank for finding you again. I forgot to write, I know, and already summer has almost gone at a stroke. I like this exercise of writing, opening myself to others, even though nobody will read it. It gives me peace of mind. I feel that I exist. Also like to read things like this in the books that I carry to my watches. You never forget the thump, eh? That's weird. A blow on the very heart. You remember it. You dream of it. You wake up at night and think of it years after and go hot and cold all over. J. Conrad. I was the same age as my daughter when my father abandoned my mother and disappeared for good. I think that childhood event really affected me and stayed inside me just like a burn that will always leave a scar on your skin, although the wound uh, although the wound is closed. A vivid memory of what it became when you abandoned something. It's because you don't want it. I believe so. I will never be like him. I will never abandon those that I love. Between a father and a son, there are big differences. So yeah, this is a lot of um <clears throat> building, I guess, you know. We'll finish up this one and then get going here, guys. I don't want to go through, I guess, all 60 right this second, so... Sorry for the delay, but <clears throat> I want to read the stuff. You know how I am. I like to read the shit. Hopefully you guys like the story. October 2nd. Today I have a headache. Sore bones. The cold weather has begun. And the mountain is getting ready for the new season. I also had a terrible migraine in the afternoon. October 10th. What an obsession. I spent whole day with numbers in my head. A 10 for here. A 16 for there. An infinite number of trees that I have counted in the forest. Three foxes, one bear. Ten words said in all day, and thirty times that I've sat down to see the horizon with binoculars. Two hundred fifty-two steps from the cabin to the road. Thirty steps to go around the cabin. I don't know how many words there are in this diary, but there are many more words that are burning inside me. The words that I don't write. I'm afraid of closing my eyes and dreaming. I'm having this fear of everything coming back again. And the wind of the past hits my back. This loneliness, this loneliness doesn't seem enough. And nor is it enough to write on this notebook now. Sometimes I also see what happened if I'm awake. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at that. So October 15th, I gotta remember that. Okay, let's do this now. I'm ready. Okay, so I don't know if I need to move fast now. I have three hit points of health. I don't know what that um, one 
thing means. Square to interact with objects. Um, is this an item to interact with over here? I don't know. A curl of sweet red gold hair. My last memory of Carla. Okay. Is there anything else on her? Wow. She's been shot point blank in the head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're the ones who fucking shot her in the face. Yeah. Alright, so collectibles can be accessed from Randall's memories. Okay. Sex to jump. You will grab ledges while jumping. Awesome shit. But one second, guys, because um wait. What's my image? Oh, no, don't call, damn it, Randall. I don't know the buttons, guys, so. Okay, so that's jump. I was trying to see if I can inspect the, uh, the hair. But I guess not. Oh, well, fuck it, let's go out of here. Okay. Oh, there's more over there. See them, guys? See, I don't know when they're gonna move and what's gonna happen exactly. Uh, double press square to kick doors with this icon. And kick that bitch. Come on. Okay. The shadows are what they are called. And we are in a warehouse. And I don't know if I should be running and hauling ass or if I should just... Okay, one second. The wood is rotten and the planks are weakened. So we can bust through this bitch. That's pretty obvious. Uh... uh... Fuck you. Um, yeah. Uh-oh, are they coming? Oh, fuck no, they are coming. Fuck up there, Randall. Yeah, I don't know if they can climb ladders or what. Seattle's safe point must be the last stronghold in all the Pacific Northwest. Anybody alive must be trying to reach it. Okay, so that's what we were talking about earlier. That's to turn it on and off, okay. It can't climb ladders, apparently. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta time this jump alright, but let's search this locker. A lost page of my diary. What? Why would my diary be scattered around randomly? So that's what that em uh, that ripped page is all about, apparently, guys. Um, We'll check that later, but let's try to jump this and make it- Oh, fuck! I did not make it, guys. I'm probably fucked here. No, god damn it, get off me! Shit, I didn't know the circle button. Okay. God damn it. Screw off! Get up, get up, get up, get up! God damn it! Oh my god, fucking fuck off. Oh my god, I missed time one jump and I'm almost dead already. Everything's going so great, guys. I'm not used to the running feel yet. There we go, okay. Good, good. Okay, hold square to grab heavy objects, move to push or pull them. Okay, let's push it. So that must be stamina then, um, that blue bar. Okay. Awesome sauce, everybody! Okay. What's this shit? The ID of a stranger. His name is RT Chase. Oh, why do we need that for exactly? Well, now I don't know exactly. Huh. Let me see something quick here. Oh, shit. I'm not sure exactly where we uh, go at this point. I'm already stumped, guys! Oh, wait, Dell, we have to drop down. What? I didn't drop enough. Oh, I'm fucked now, guys. Ah! Don't run on him, no! No, go, 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 go! Oh my god! I made it, bitches! Okay, so how do I bust through there? I have to just jump and directly land on it? Let's try to do it right. No. Oh, the box! What am I thinking, guys? The box! God damn it. Sometimes this shit, I swear, eludes me. Okay. The fucking box. Thank you, Randall, for helping me. Crush. Okay, press to hang from edges, then press to drop down the ledge. Okay. 
Uh oh. Ah no! Fuck off! Oh my god. Okay. Um, we gotta go over here now. Go, go, go before more come back. Or at least I think. Let me see. Okay, nothing in here. So yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, guys. I don't feel like sticking around until something survives that fall. Okay. So, I hope I remember all these buttons. Crouch. Use the environment against your enemies. Press the green button and release the charge on the shadow. Okay, so there's one right there. So we're gonna have to crush him or something? Crunch! Ha <laughs> ha! You have been defeated, vile demon. Alright. Okay, yeah, I had to jump that. Fucking hell am I doing? Agony! Jump! There we go. Okay. Oh, shit. There's more up there, isn't there? I don't know if we can sneak in this game or not. Okay. I feel like we need to just keep moving. Here they all come. Alright, I better make this goddamn jump. Ooh. So we are totally just climbing and... Yeah, making our way out of this bitch. Oh, shit! Holy fuck, Randall! Randall's a fucking boss, man. Can I climb down this instead of... Okay, yeah. Okay, hold R1 while running to sprint. Press X to perform a long-distance jump! Okay, I did not know there was an actual sprint. Whoa. And the others made it out. They deserve better than this world. I think we'd all deserve better than this world. Yeah, there they go driving off. We gotta catch up with them. And find our family. So that's what we're gonna do, and there's electricity. Great. Just trying all the taunt enemies. Okay. Bring it! Come on! Come on, Here. bitches! Come right into the electricity! Step right up, sir! Thank you, thank you! How electrifying! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, fuck! God damn it, Randall! Randall! God fucking damn it, of course. It had to happen at least once, guys. Come on, you know this. Ben and the others made it out. I don't give a they damn about Ben right now. I mean, I, I do, but I'm just being a stupid ass, guys. Come on, you know that's what I do? Hey! Let's try this again. Come on, guys. Come on over here. For your grand prize of one shock to the goddamn face. And hopefully I jump this time. Yes! There we go. Good. Awesome shit. Awesome shit. Uh, there's electricity up there, though. Ah, oh, we gotta hit this. Yeah, smash that shit. Okay. Now we can climb. And we have to probably jump over that fence. Don't want to land in the barbed wire. And we are out. Uh oh, man. Sinners. Sprint against weakened doors to tackle them. Okay. So, sinners. That's definitely post apocalyptic, alright. What's in this? I have used the first aid kit. Okay. So, yeah, that's cool. There's first aid kits and shit. Like that. Okay, there's nothing up there, so we gotta just. Boom! Bust our way in this bitch. And I'm getting trophies left and right. This game's pretty abundant on that, isn't it? Maintenance Tunnel, I-5, July 4th, 1986, 1.10 p.m. Status updated. Alright, guys, I better I better try to keep up with, um... Okay. The end of the tunnel. Ben, Stella, and Sam managed to escape in the van that brought us to Seattle. It looks like I'll have to travel on my own to the safe point. This maintenance tunnel should take me to the highway that will guide me to the city. So this must be the second level, but... Let's go back to this. Okay, now, but we got another page, so that might be, like, page two or whatever. So, yeah. We gotta go to October 15th, but let's see back here. So, no. That one's still ripped out. Okay. Yeah. And I also need to check out these drawings, so I wonder if that's his wife. Alright, let's read a little bit more. October 15th. Thanksgiving. Today was a day to remember... My wife made a great stew again. The whole family had dinner in silence. 
but it was a pleasant silence. It's not always necessary to fill the emptiness with words, right? Instead, Lydia <clears throat> was a bit sad for Nick. She says that he deserved better. Nick deserved better, and I think that we all deserve better. I would agree with you, Randall. At least Nick's meat was tasty. Wait, what? Aww. At least Nick's meat was tasty. Typical of kids, the way they insist of personifying the world around them and on giving names to everything that they find. I had to break ne Nick's neck myself with my bare hands. It's not like... It's not that I'm a coward, but I don't like killing animals with my hands. Okay, that explains it. I was wondering what the fucking hell he was talking about, because I'm like, wait, you're, you're, you're eating a fucking person for Thanksgiving, and you're... <laughs> what the fuck? Never mind, okay. Yeah. Even less so when it's got a human name. In my job, sometimes I have to sacrifice animals that are sick or that pose a danger to others. I know that all deaths are the same, even if it was a turkey with the name of a used car dealer. <laughs> well, Nick the Turkey Dunn got stuffed, all right. Yeah, that's a reference to Thanks Killing, if anyone's watched that ridiculous movie, okay? But yeah, let's... October 19th. They have sent a message warning the poachers. Ben Parker, an acquaintance of the town, made a phone call to the warden's office. It seems that he saw some hunters in a protected sector. Ben is a good guy. I think he's the only man in the town who I can talk to. I saw him in the mountain, and he's not one to look for trouble. He's often come to see me, and we talk about this and that. He is a man of the world and easy to get along with. So Ben, he might be one of the survivors we're with, I'm betting. On the way back, I came across a van parked at the side of the road. Two girls were on the shoulder, playing like little kids. Playing and laughing. I've known these idi those idiots for some time. They're always hanging around. The younger one, a tanned and chubby girl, couldn't stop smiling. She didn't say anything special. Unlike the other one, they're, f they're from Vancouver and were looking for plants that help to cure goodness knows what illness. I've warned them. The forest knows how to find its food. It's not safe for girls to go into the forest to pick flowers. Wild animals do their job, just like I do mine. When they were leaving, over the engine sound, I could still hear one of the girls laugh. I hate city people. Wow, Randall. Holy shit. Here's a weird page. So, October 22nd, and everything's scribbled out. Dreams are my reality. October 24th. I am afraid of the night. Yeah, that goes on for several times and then abruptly stops. So I'm wondering if the infection started around here or what issues exactly is going on with Randall. Okay, another torn page. I'm wondering if these torn pages are the pages we're finding. We'll see. Okay, we'll do this last one. December 5th. In spite of the migraine, I may still be able to forget everything and be only aware of the good things inside me. When my maternal grandmother, who was already over 80, died, the only person she had beside her was a nurse. The old woman lived alone and died alone. The girl said that before my grandmother died, she lifted her head up off the pillow and looked from one side to the other as if she were trying to find someone, and then she lay down again and died. There is no doubt that a void surrounds me, but I am also sure that I, ha that I haven't completely fallen into it. At times I feel that if I lift up my head, I will be able to cross to the other side. So yeah, he's got a pretty, yeah, rough situation. Uh, December 12th. So yeah, we'll come back for December 12th later on, because I'm ready to play more. It's back. So now we are in a tunnel, guys. And okay, never mind that. I was seeing if there's, like, maybe item or something. Okay, we need to jump this fucking gap. Jump it! Um, I did not read that. But we'll probably get an option to read it once we go back down again. But let me see what this... here, the highway is at the end of this tunnel. It's a straight shot to the safe point. Shannon and Lydia might even be there by now. So Lydia is his wife. Shannon must be his daughter, maybe. Okay. 
hold R1 while on a ladder to slide down faster. All right, let's slide. Uh oh. Let's try this first, I guess. There's something in here for me. That's why I went in here. I didn't know if this was a bonus area or what. One of those handheld game machines, huh? Old square to play it. That's bizarre. You can play a fucking game here? How do I play it? One second, guys. Okay. No, I don't want to do that, Randall. How do I play the game now? Fucking damn it. Oh my god, guys. I'm, I'm being a fool here. I want to play the game, god damn it. Is there an inventory thing I'm not aware of? Arrgh. Fuck me life. Fuck. Okay. Well, that's fucking annoying. I'm holding square. I must have had to do it right when I got it. Damn it. I don't know how to access it, so let's just keep going, guys. Fuck these games, right? <clears throat> oh, no. Let me see. Hell is the people. Wait, what? Hell is other people. If you wish another, keep it your secret. If you wish another to keep your secret, whilst first keep it yourself. Okay, sorry about the, the misreading, people. Uh, my apologies. Okay, but something's down here, more of them. The inferno begins here. So yeah, a lot of end of the world crap. I mean, pretty typical for zombie, you know, survival shit, right? Wow, that guy was impaled on something. A page torn from my book. There's a poem written. Through me the way into the suffering city. Through me the way into the eternal pain. Through me the way that runs among the lost. Okay. At least it stayed up long enough for me to read all that. I'm happy about that one. Dead people, corpses, they don't impress me anymore. So yeah, he's been pretty fucking um, desensitized to say the least. But let's see if there's any other option. Any other? Dead people, no. Corpses, they don't impress me anymore. Yeah, we get it, Randall. We get it, sir. Randall cannot swim. Avoid deep waters. How convenient, Randall. How fucking convenient. So we gotta run and jump this gap. Come on, there we go. Good timing, good. And we got a valve to turn. Got to drain the water for me. Hell yeah! I'm totally getting like depths vibes from like little nightmares in this shit right now. All right. So we're just wading through the sewage right now, guys. But I'm still having a good day. Even though I'm covered to my head to toe with probably shit and piss, I'm having a good day. So, oh, that's deep water, so never mind. I was about to, oh shit, get out of there. I didn't know if that was going to collapse or not, but I was debating on whether to drop down, but then I saw it was fucking, yeah, massive amounts of water. Before we go in there, can we, okay, we can't do anything here. Let's drain this shit. Who's going to bet that some of those get up? <clears throat> huh? Who's going to bet some of those fuckers get up? I'm going to be able to slide or vault over that down there. All right, well. Dropping down. Sloshing around in the water. Shadow's right next to me, probably. But hey, fuck them. They ain't going to keep Randall down. Oh, they got up, all right. You better keep on fucking moving, Randall. Keep on fucking moving. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump over this bitch, Randall. Haha, you can't, can ya? Can you jump over it? I don't think you bitches can. Motherfucker. Alright. Let's climb up this fucking thing. So we've made it to the other side. Which is pretty awesome. But now we gotta run and jump. Oh, fuck! My life. Yeah. I, I was just, yeah, I was saying what we had to do and then fucked up doing it. Goddamn jumps. There we go. Oh my god, I did it again. So this is a totally jumping simulator now. 
Randall just couldn't take it. He had to jump deep into the sewage. There we go. He had to just jump down. Yeah, uh oh, there's a thing right there. Run! Interstate 5, July 4th, 1986, 3 p.m. Status update. All right, fuck yeah. So, guys, but I think that's a good point to stop this. We made a decent little chunk of it. Uh, next time we come back, we're going to check our status, and we're going to continue along the highway because now we're out of the tunnel. And we also probably read a few more files. But our objective remains the same, to find our family and get to the safe point. Now, the thing I'm wondering, though, is you know how zombie stories are. Usually... Some bad shit happens. But that's the thing I'm wondering. Is this going to be a bad, you know, ending and a bad tragedy? Or is it actually going to be a good, you know, a good ending or whatever? But I'm enjoying it so far, but it still seems pretty early. I don't, I think this is a pretty short game, but we, uh, yeah, we'll fucking see. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a pretty fun little time. But yeah, join me next time. We will continue along the interstate doing what I, yeah, said we we're going to fucking do. But this was Deadlight. If you like Deadlight, like, comment, subscribe for more. More is coming. I love gaming. I love horror. We're going to fucking hack up some zombies eventually once we probably get some weapons. I'm excited for that one. But yeah, guys, I hope you're having a great day, evening, you know, morning. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you are doing great. Let me know down in the comments how great your day is. Any good things going on. I like to hear everyone doing great, hopefully. So yeah, but this is Agony333 signing out, everybody. Have a good one. Peace.